Oh, video blog day number one. This is um, it's Friday, the 1st of April, and we're in, in the Sahara Desert. Um, we've come here, it's taken all day to get here, and we ended up on trucks, which was a rickety journey to say the least, um, and about five, six, I don't know, seven hours on a, on a coach before that. So it's a bit of, bit of a long day, and we've just arrived. Anyway, let's have a quick look around. These things here, these are the, the toilets, very nice too. And on day one, which will be Sunday, we're going to go pretty much into this lot. Sand dunes, big sand dunes. These are little sand dunes. Sand dunes, we're going to go over about 500 foot or so, uh, maybe more. That's Carl, he's doing a little bit of training. <laughs> go, son. Yeah, try and get up that sand dune though. Easy. Anyway, so sand, obviously, your feet just disappear. They just sink into the sand completely. It's crazy. This is the bivouac. Everyone's tents here, we're number 81 which is cool. Um, there's two tents of us right next to each other where everyone knows each other, so that's, it's all worked out for the best, really. And that's just about it. We're going to get some... going to pack the bags, make sure everything's um, in the rucksack. Tomorrow is admin day, so we've got to um, go through our medical forms and things like that, so it's, it's going to be quite laborious, but in between the times we're not doing anything, I suppose might do a little bit of sunbathing, eh? Oh, at the moment... Um, it's about standing here in the sun, it's about 34 degrees. Um, so it's, it's pretty warm, basically. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. Looking forward to tomorrow. So I'll speak to you then. Day two in the Big Brother house. Here we are. Um, today we've come out to check out the first stage of the race. The uh, first stage is about 18, 19 miles. Um, you see the bivouacs over the back there? 2021. There you go. I'm trying to paint it down a little bit for you. I know you think that I'm sort of going to be working too hard over it. There's the bivouacs over here. We basically come straight across. This is a dry riverbed and then up these small, small sand dunes. Let's have a quick look over the top. Goats, lovely. And then we sprint or walk across this dry terrain towards these red sand dunes in the background. And we literally leap over these. And they're about six miles long. So we, we do that, and then there's about six or seven miles on the other side. <laughs> Shush. Um, and here we are. As I can I can tell you now that it's, it's only 30 degrees, so it's not too bad. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty difficult to stand, even with poles, as you can see. Lots of rock. Um, and it's fantastic. I'll be back for an update later. Here's the group. We're going to sail down the other side now.
Start walking in a minute when we're out of camera view, basically. Okay. 29 degrees. Nice cool start to the MDS. Camels, we don't want to get overtaken by basically on the way. It's going to be a good race. And we've already got someone stopping for a toilet break. Way to go, girls! Whoops! Leave you for a while. Done, uh, it's about halfway now, I think. More than halfway. And this is the sand dune section. And as you can see, there are a lot of sand dunes. <laughs> a lot of sand dunes. It goes right the way back. Now, the feet are struggling through this section, it's very hard going. You can't run to that point. It's not too hot though, it's only 32 degrees. Sweet. Suntan lotion piled on. Laura is drinking. It's bloody hard work. Ski poles. That's me.
quite sturdy stones that are quite awkward to walk across and uh, you don't want to kick them either. Two hours 36 and we've done, I don't know, 15 k something like that. And which means we're not even halfway. So, um, yes, we're doing all right. Feet are okay. Shoulders, this is what you use slippers for. Okay. Look, thanks to Kevin in the tent for that. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good stage, you can see. This is Becky. I've probably got blood all down my face again. <laughs> no, you haven't. Flies kept on trying to attack me. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, I can see. see. Their whole feet as it, as it is, let alone when they've got She's blisters. She's got some nasty me. blisters. This is at the end of day two. Uh, I'm, I don't want to get my blister out because it's not too bad because everybody else would moan that I'm trying to, you know, make it look like... <laughs> exactly. I'm a hero, but I'm not. These these two girls are heroes. Uh, Joe's like got pretty much blister on every toe, and she's just got a new one. Mmm, that is incredibly good. We can frame that. But we're all back. Um, that's a good the good point. Blister on a blister. We're all back. Um, and we're all back. Uh, the girls were about um, seven hours and five minutes, I think, something like that. Um, and the slowest of us was, a, uh, the fastest of us was um, 5.15, which is M, who did extremely well. And, and then the others came in at about a half hour point, so I don't know, something like that. So yeah, we've had a good day, but it's very, very windy. So um, I think it's the wind that's been getting everyone down. Nothing to do with baked beans. We're talking about sandstorms. I mean, <laughs> we all came expecting a sandstorm or two, but this has been ridiculous. <laughs> we've had a cat. This morning we had a sandstorm, uh, couldn't even boil the kettle, um, but, and we actually arrived back in camp at the next point, and um, that has been pretty <laughs> disgusting. Two, two or three tents blew away, um, including the, medic, uh, the uh, email tent with someone in it, and the pole hit him on the head. Um, and yeah, I don't know, he's probably been taken to the medical tent, which was next door. So this is repair stage yeah. now. I've got my uh, these things on, which are compression tights. Joe, I'm going to go to the doctor um, just now while it's wet. Yeah, can you wait for me? Have and uh, the girls are going to go to the medical to get their blisters sorted. But everybody else is fairly intact, apart from Trent. Um, I'm intact now. Ah, oh, it's Becky. Oh, actually, that was all right. <laughs> so uh, it's repair stage, and then we're going to rate. Just letting you know what things are, so it's uh, goodbye from me. I'll speak to you later. <laughs> so here we are. It's uh, race day three. Tuesday. Which means we're on a 33 kilometre section. And one part of it, in about six kilometres, goes uphill 1.6 kilometres, and at about 15% gradient. So that will be quite fun. So one of these mountains around us, we're going up, basically. I think it's in that direction where those trucks are going. Uh, in the background, you see all that dust going up, hopefully. Um, personally, this toe is a bit of a mess. 
Um, I've done my best to patch it up. I think I'm going to have to go to the doctors later and see about that. But uh, to be honest, I think I'm getting off quite likely because there's few candidates around me that are suffering pretty bad. The gaiters are a bit of a mess already. I've had holes. They usually get punctured by little bushes like this one here, like a tumbleweed. Um, but it's not tumbling. And uh, that's about it. So you just patch things up as you go along. Gaffer tape is a necessity. Yes, I think everybody would agree with that one. But uh, here we go. Anyway, more reports later. Donc euh, aujourd'hui, alors évidemment, euh, Mohamed Ansal qui a remporté euh, l'étape hier, je vous suis bien quand il... Checkpoint one yet, it's, it's tough. Tough on the feet, so it's all about cons conservation today. Try and get the feet through today, that's the one for tomorrow. Okay, so now I'll be to six miles. Point one on the third day. Here we go. Merci. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water and visit the doctors because I've got a big fat blister. 
Hello guys. See, see. Two bottles. That'll be me. Lovely. Merci beaucoup. Merci. And rest. Sunrise. Literally. It's um, 6.15 in the morning on race day four. This is our tent. And we're next in line to get de-sacked. As you can see, the sun's just coming up on the horizon. This is everyone else. In the bivouac, and all my all my team are still in the tent. <laughs> Next door have been. Here we go. Be prepared. Amazing. Anyway, that's the wake up call in the marathon. Dis
race day four and this is the long one and um, I'm only a few I'm only a few K in um, it's about 35 36 degrees at the moment it's not too bad um, and we've got a double marathon to do so around about 51 just over 51 miles and that's over two days the quicker you finish the more rest you get simple science Where we've come from, that's checkpoint two. And on the long session is about a third of the way, approximately. So, we'll see, 18 miles, which is good, but on the other hand, it's bad because it means we've got two thirds of the way to stop to go. <laughs> nice views though. There we go, we're on a plateau. It's quite windy. It's just me and my kit bag. And these shoes. I just was going to do some video. Um, checkpoint four on the long day. We're uh, about 30 miles in, and we've got about 20 to do. And I'm absolutely exhausted. Temperatures today was about, I don't know, 40 plus, something like that in the sun. You only keep cooler by actually walking. It's when you stop, uh, you just boil. I'm laying here with uh, Nick, who, he's been here an hour. And uh, I want to eat, but I can't because my mouth is just, Dry. I can't explain it. And everything hurts. So I just want you to know that. Thanks for your donations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of you. <laughs> okay. Right. So this is um, day five. This is rest day. Um, not for some because they're still on course because we did the uh, double marathon yesterday um, and obviously it takes quite a while to do it so there's people still coming in from uh, yesterday we've, we've got one member of the tent missing um, so we're just it's like 8 24 in the morning it's pretty warm already there's, as you can see there's people walking in just behind me here getting a bit of a handshake and they deserve it as well they've been out there a long time um, nearly nearly 24 hours um, as you can see I've got a few bits and pieces going on here this is not nice I don't know what's going on there that's some sort of blood blister 
um, the, the feet are sort of, oh. I don't really want to take these things off, they've all hardened up in the shape of my feet. And that's not good, there's a bit of a cut on the end of that. And it was refreshing. Um, and this sort of situation here, it's all blown up. And it's very, very swollen. <laughs> you can look against my hand. And yeah, that's it. So today is just rest. And no more to say. Hopefully soon I'm going to get on the email and, uh, and even the write everyone a message. Two days to go. Tomorrow we've got a marathon. 26.2 miles and then the last day about 11 mile sprint home. We'll all be sprinting because there's a bar at the end. <laughs> See you later. Whack. So rest day and this is the afternoon and we're expecting um, a gift soon from the management of a can of coke which could turn up at any time but not that they've happened for a little while but people were still coming in from yesterday's run it's 4.30 in the afternoon. So here's the tent. Uh, sleeping arrangements. It is the gang, sort of. This is my bed here. On the end, this is my stuff. Not a lot of room. All, all I can say is we're very close. This is the, this is the noisy tent over the back here, all of this lot. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we're in the middle of the desert, as you can see. Tomorrow we've got um, the marathon, um, which is a full marathon, 26.2 miles. Um, and it goes uh, that, that direction, out there, and into the distance, as far as you can see. That'll be a laugh, because none of us can walk, as you're being shown there. First thing this morning, it looked like zombies walking across. It is a good laugh. So yeah, I haven't got much more to say. There's my feet. You can see this is huge compared to this one. I don't know how I'm going to get my racing shoes on tomorrow, but I'm going to give it a good crack. Um, there's lots of pain. I can't tell you. But uh, there's a lot of people worse off than I am, so, you know. Grin and bear it. Right, one more view and then I'm going to click off, so I'll see you later. Day two of the 50 miler. And here we are, like 33 hours from the end. 33, 33 hours from the start. It started yesterday morning at 9. It's now 6 o'clock. And here comes the last, the last trooper. And it's a, it's a Japanese guy. And uh, I know it doesn't seem like much to you guys, but it's, uh, yeah, it's quite emotional. Everyone's here, they're all clapping him in. He's struggling, but he's made it. I can't believe it.
so day five race day five is marathon day we are about nine or ten kilometers in I think um, we just climbed a bit of a hill and um, today is pain day um, it's a bit disappointing because I've done a, quite well in the last two days but um, what the heck I just want to finish it's all I've ever wanted to do so that's what I'm going to do my shin is basically it feels like there's a hole in it um, fuck blisters I don't really care about the blisters it's the, it's the shin that's doing the business right now David has lent me uh, walking pole which is wicked he's a good man he's right in front of me <laughs> and uh yeah, we're teaming it up today. This is uh, it's hard work for everyone. We really are the walking dead. <laughs> you may as well say. And it's hot, yes, very hot. Let me just say that it's about 35 degrees um, in the shade. So that's about 45 in the sun. <laughs> Keep taking the pills. where we're going. Nice day for a walk. Right. So it's um, day, race day number five. Race day number five, yeah. This is the marathon day and uh, we're in the very last section, so the last day is tomorrow, and you guys probably wonder why Ray has slowed down, and that's because he's in quite a bit of pain, as everyone is <laughs> around me. <laughs> this is Gordon here, he's, he's coaching me in, basically. <laughs> We're helping each other. <laughs> See, he's, he's uh, 16 million blisters. Um, and uh, yeah, my shin has gone completely, and it's just a hobbling match now. It's we've been on the road for seven hours and fifty minutes, which is more than double my best PB. So, um, and I've got a new word. PB now means personal battle, and that's pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much seals up what I, I've had today, but um, it's lovely scenery. Let's have a look round. It looks like Mars, it's the best way of describing it. There's a village in the background over there, nice. And these boots are made for hobbling today, grin and bear it. So, once again, charity wise. Thanks for the donations. And if you feel my pain, dig again. <laughs> Come on. See you in the bar. Last day, race day, last day, day seven, and uh, what's going on at the moment is they are letting off the 40 slowest people first, and they go right through the middle of the tents, so everyone's giving them a clap. Uh, Becky's among them, she's over there. Um, uh, I should be among them really because uh, <laughs> I think most of them are moving faster than I will be when I go in um, about an hour's time. So yeah, there they go. Quite remarkable. Um, looking forward to a shower later. Um, my leg 
is infected with something, so they are on antibiotics and hobbling on sticks. <laughs> but I'm going to make it. and we're off. And, and as you can see, I'm taking a very slow start. I know what to say, I really don't.
I'm going slow. Splitting the camels. It's a bit of a laugh. One hour, four minutes, and then who knows, four, four K. Means we've got 13 to go, 13 and a half. It's hot. And I'm just exhausted and uh, quite emotional. Smile for the camera. Hello. Hello. We're coming to the village. Um, the last three kilometers. Oh, and uh, it feels really good because um, I don't think I'm taking much more of this. It's been enjoyable but painful, um, personal battle of survival and endurance and um, I just run out of words, it's amazing. Let's have a look around. I'm pretty much last today. My ankle is killing me. So, here we are. There's the medal. There we are. Lovely. I'm back in the hotel, it's uh, Saturday the 9th at 5 o'clock and I'm shattered, my feet are balloons, um, have a look at these boys, this one's, this one's alright, this, this one is, is the killer, as you can see it's not, it's, it's not looking best, um, but I did it. I did it and uh, I'm well pleased and what I'm going to do now because I stink uh, is going to have um, I'm going to have a shower, clean up, have a shave and uh, I'm going to have a beer with my, with my newfound friends and there's some pretty heroic people around I'm telling you. So there'll be more stories in the blog, this will be uh, incredible but this is wow! Some sort of experience, and uh, even though I've been through a lot of pain, um, it's been enjoyable. So uh, yeah, thanks for pushing me along. Cheers.